Hi guys. Hope you guys are doing well today. Well, this evening. I don't usually come on Monday evening, but yesterday's sermon, after yesterday's sermon, I felt I had more to say. And the Lord said, uh, let me start this way. Um, yesterday, I did a sermon called Dancing in the Dark, and I was talking about how God wants to be your dance partner and how he wants to move with you through, through the twists and turns of life. And yesterday evening, I was listening to uh, Can I Have This Dance from High School Musical, and not every, not every line, but almost every line if taken spiritually is so powerful. And God said, I want you to uh, do what you do best and flip that song for the kingdom. So that's what I'm going to do in this sermon. I'm going to read a line of the song, song and if it applies, applies explain it for the um, as it relates to the kingdom of God and how God wants to be your dance partner in life. Um, I've been doing this kind of thing, like flipping secular songs for the kingdom, for 10 years. When I first started, um, it was the basis of my ministry and it was so powerful and touched a lot of people. Now. I haven't done it in a while because of the YouTube rules, it changed. Um, uh, I used to be able to play the song and then, um, and then kind of dive in, but I can't play the song anymore because of uh, uh, Facebook rules and YouTube rules and the rules of the internet have changed. Um, but I can definitely quote the song, and then after I will I will put it up again so that you guys can hear the actual song. Um, okay, so here I go. Now this song is meant to be a duet, but for the case of my purposes, um, uh, pretend that it's. Uh, God speaking to you. Okay, so here we go. And as I go through, I will explain how it relates to our relationship with God, the relationship that God has with his children. Um, so, here we go. It says, take a breath, take one step, Oh no, it says, take a breath, take one step, okay, <laughs> sorry, take my hand, take a breath, pull me close, and take one step. Um, when the Lord says to take his hand, um, he means to walk with him, not just do the religious thing and he says take a breath so sometimes we get so stressed out and we just need to breathe we just need to take a moment and breathe so so right now as you're sitting there eating dinner or doing whatever you're doing just feeling stressed out stop whatever you're doing for a moment and just breathe in 
hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out. So the Lord says just to relax, take his hand, he's got you, um, and take one step because if we, um, he, no, first he says, pull me close, which means he wants, uh, he wants to be close to us and he is close to us in a way, but he wants us to pull him close. Some of us, God is so far away uh, from us, like we just go to church and do the Christian thing, but we're not close to God. He doesn't only he he doesn't only want us to be close. Um, he doesn't want want to be the only one pulling close. He wants us to pull him close as well. He wants this thing to be personal. He doesn't want just a religious activity or we go to church every Sunday or we pray every day. He wants us to, it to be personal. He said, so he says, take my hand. Um, take a breath, hold me close, and take one step. He, God's not going to walk through life for you. He's going to walk through life with you. He's going to carry you. But in order for him to do that, you have to take steps as well. God's not going to move your legs into your your destiny. He's go he's going to want you to take that step of faith first, and then when you do it, he'll do it, and it will be just um, moving together. As I said yesterday, dancing is really moving together with God. It's not God doing all the work. It's us partnering with God knowing that he's above us at one, in, in one way, but um, we, we are actually partnering with him. So we, we move and he moves, and he gives us divine guidance in that way. And he says, and the song says, keep your eyes locked on mine. Oh, this is, this one is so powerful. He wants us to pull him close, to take his hand, but also to keep our eyes on him. Because when we take our eyes off of Jesus, that's when the trouble begins. There are so many distractions. So he wants us to keep our eyes on him and let his spirit be our guide. Um, his spirit is sent to guide us. It's like the paraclete. Um, we call it the paracletus, um, the Holy Spirit. And he, he wants to be there to guide us, to lead us. It's not just to speak in tongues and that's it. It's to guide us and to lead us. Um, and he promises, and he promises us that... Wherever we go, he'll be with us. He'll keep dancing with us. He'll keep guiding us through the twists and turns. He will never leave us nor forsake us. So wherever we go, whatever we've done, 
he'll keep dancing with us. And that's what he promises for us. And that is so powerful because it says to me, whatever we go, whatever, whatever we do, he promises to us to keep moving through the turns and dips of life and never letting us go. Um, it is really powerful. And some part of the chorus, um, um, first of all, um, the line says, it's like catching lightning the chance is worth finding someone like you. Now, it's not exactly like catching lightning, but it's it's very um, it's very rare to find a being like God who loves us so unconditionally and who is just so um, just so loving and so wonderful and so merciful and at the same time time he'll love he'll correct us he'll transform us god there is no god like him there is no person like him there is no one like him so he deserves to be the only god in our lives and sometimes we seem to worship other things without realizing it. We worship our children, we worship our money, we worship sex, we worship all that stuff. And what worship really is, is what you're, what you're bowing down to or what you give time to is really what you worship. Worship doesn't mean you're bowing down, you're, you're you're physically bowing down towards idols or whatever. Worship is anything, worship is anything you give your time to. So if you spend more time on Netflix than you do in prayer, that means you're worshiping Netflix. If you spend more time with your kids than you do with the Lord, that means you're worshiping uh, your kids, if you spend more time, if you spend, if you are more worried about what your husband would think instead of following what God would think, that means you're worshiping your husband. Not that you don't give attention to and respect what others do or not, that you can't watch Netflix, but uh, the Lord is saying now, be careful of your timing. Be careful what you give your attention to, because what you give your attention to will grow. What you take your attention away from will will shrink. So maybe that's why time with the Lord is shrinking, because you're not giving um, that that attention and that time to God, and it's. Uh, spent worshipping worry and worshipping fear and bowing down to it. And, and bowing down to it just basically means submitting to it, standing under it, standing under it and letting it take control. Um, that's what it means. And he's asking the question, can I dance with you through life? Can I have this dance with you through life? And he said, take my hand. I'll take the lead. It, and every turn will be safe with me. Now, this is 
the part of the song that really got me when he said, take my hand, take the lead, and every turn will be safe with me. So he wants you to take his hand and know that he will lead you and he will guide you. And we understand that, but we don't we hear about it but we don't understand it and receive it so we try and do things by ourselves and he says in every turn and every if you take his hand every situation is safe with him um bad situations horrible relationships it's safe with him he wants you to know that everything you're going through right now, every trial you're facing, every turn in your life, every dip in your life, every twist in your in your life, you think it's safe with no one, but it's safe with him. You can trust him. You can give it all over to him. It's safe with him. He won't leave you. He won't tell anyone it won't be on facebook it won't be on instagram you can he can be your confidant he he says with in in every trial it is safe with me i will handle it he's he wants to handle your trials you've been trying to do this thing alone for too long he's saying Every, take my hand, take the lead. In every turn, every situation, it is safe with me. Um, um, if, you let, if you take his hand and let him take the lead, um, every turn will be safe with him. You can take his hand, but not let him lead. You can give your life to Jesus, give yourself to Jesus, but still want to lead. He's saying, let go of the leadership role in your own life and let him take it over. You can't take it over. It's too big for you. And he wants you to know that every situation you are facing, good, bad, ugly, divorce, um, anything you're facing, financial, uh, health-wise, Every, he's with you in the turn. He's with you in every circumstance. He's with you when life goes bad. He's with you when life is good. He celebrates with you. He cries with you. He mourns with you. He rejoices with you. And he wants you to know that everything in your life is safe with him you can trust him with it and i found that the best part of this song when i was listening to it last night um yes lord thank you lord and he said don't be afraid to he said don't be afraid to fall You know, I'll catch you through it all. He said, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to be embarrassed. Don't be afraid to look stupid because he will catch you in every mistake. He will be with you in every mistake. He said, don't be afraid to fall because I'll be there to catch you as your dance partner. I'll be right behind you. I'll I'll be spotting you. I'll be making sure that you you don't hurt you hurt yourself when you hurt yourself, because you will hurt yourself. But you'll hurt yourself with a purpose. He never promised that this life would be easy and that you won't hurt yourself. But he said he'll be with you, and when you hurt yourself. It will be a lesson. And when there's a lesson in the hurts of life, in every hurt, there is a healing and there is a breakthrough. In every hurt, there is a lesson. 
and he's saying, let me show you the lesson in your hurt. I can't tell you what the lesson is for your hurt, but God says, let me show you the lesson in your hurt. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, I, I will catch you through it all. He won't let you fall without a safety net. He wants to be your safety net. He wants to catch you when you fall. He won't prevent, sometimes prevent the fall from happening, but he will catch you when you fall. And he will give you the tools to fall on his grace. You will not fall, fall with his grace. You will fall with his grace, but more than that, you'll fall on his grace. And one thing I'm going to say here is no one can fall from grace. We we often say that in Christian, Christ, Christendom, oh, that he fell from grace. You cannot, you can never, ever, ever fall from grace. His grace is always available. His grace is for anyone. It doesn't matter color of skin. Uh, it doesn't matter um, male or female. It doesn't matter what you identify as. It doesn't matter who you are. His grace is always available and it will be sufficient for what you're going through. He, he's um, he said to Paul, my grace is sufficient. Paul said, I need you to take away this thing in my life, this thorn in my side. But Paul said, the Lord said to him, my grace is sufficient for you. Um, so I'm not going to take away the thorn, but I'm going to give you the grace to come out on the other end. I'm going to give you the strategy and give you the tools to come out on the other end. Thank you, Jesus. Um, he says, no mountains too high, oceans too wide. Because together or not, our dance won't stop. He said, no, no mountains too high and no oceans too wide. And even if you separate from me, I won't stop dancing with you. You can go. There is nothing that will separate you from the love of God. There is nothing that will separate you from the dance of God, which means there is nothing that will stop him from moving through life with you. Even if you think you're too good, even if you think you're too, you're too bad to even call yourself a Christian, there is no mountain that you face, no no ocean that is too wide that he will stop dancing with you. He will never stop dancing with you. He will never stop loving you. And he said, there is nothing that will separate us. There is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. Receive that today. There is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. Thank you, Jesus. He said, no mountains too no mountains too high, no oceans too wide. Together or not, our dance will stop. He, he won't stop dancing with you. Even if you try and screw it up royally, he won't stop moving with you. He won't stop dancing with you. He won't stop guiding you through the turns. He loves you too much and you're too valuable for him to stop dancing with you and loving you through your weakness and loving you through your failure and loving you through, through 
through your life mistakes. He wants to just embrace you. He wants to dance with you. He wants to be the best partner ever. He wants to give you give you moves and strategy to guide you through your life circumstances, through your life trouble. He wants to help you. Just let him, let it go, let him lead. Yes, Lord, we love you for this. And he'll say, can I have this dance? He said, can I have this dance? He keeps repeating it over again. Can I have this dance? For the your first step, remember at the beginning of the sermon I said, um, take his hand, take a breath, pull him close, and take one step. That first step will be a relationship with Jesus Christ. He wants you. He's saying, can I have this dance? But, but uh, he just wants your yes. He just wants your yes. He wants nothing from you. He wants to give the world to you. And he wants your yes. So if you want to receive this wonderful dance partner that I've been talking about, all you need to do is cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, I need you. The Bible said, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. That's all you need to do to, to venture on, this, on the greatest dance ever of your life. And what I always tell people to do is just cry out to the Lord. Tell Him how much you need Him. Tell Him how much you are confused. Just give Him your, give Him your whole soul and give Him your heart. And He will do some wonderful things through it. After you've, after you've prayed that prayer, giving Him your heart, telling Him your soul, telling Him that you need Him, if you need help, you can contact me, and I'll be so happy to help you um, with your next steps. And it's the greatest journey. And it might be scary to think about it, but it is the greatest journey of your life. Thank you, guys. Bye. It's all I catch in lightning, the chances of finding someone like you. It's all in a million, the chances of feeling the way we do. And with every step together, we'll just keep. Keep on getting better. Can I have this dance? Can I have this dance? And with with every step that you take with God, he he will. It may not seem that you're getting better, but you are. With every step, every challenge, every turn, every dip in the road you're getting better you're getting better if you're about to give up don't don't give up god has so much in store for you god has so much good things for you don't give up with every challenge it may not seem that you're getting better it can often seem that you're getting worse but trust me you are getting better and he he is working out everything for your good. Thank you, Lord. It's like catching lightning, the chances of finding someone like you. 
Twenty in a million, the chances of feeling the way we do. And we're different, stuck together, we'll just keep on getting better. Can I have this dance? 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 The Lord wants this dance. So give him this dance. The Lord wants this dance. So give him this chance. Thank you, Lord. It's like catching lightning, the chance is of finding someone like you. It's one in a million, the chance is of feeling the way we do. And with every step together, we'll just keep on. Can I have this dance? Can I have this dance? The Lord wants this dance. So give him this dance. The Lord wants this dance. So give him this chance. Bye, guys.